हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिजवान यूसुफ वेलकम टू द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ जिम ट्रेनिंग इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट वेब एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एम बी सी एंड एम एस एस क्यूल सर्वे एस डेटा बेस वी विल स्टार्ट अवर वर्किंग वेयर वी स्टॉप इन द लास्ट सेशन ओके आई विल स्ट्रॉन्गली सजेस्ट प्लीज वॉच द प्रीवियस सेशन of this video series for the better understanding of this video tutorial right what we will complete or achieve in this video in this video we will add more information in the view related to the gym training such as his height his blood group which we will get from database and his training level which is also database driven okay in the last part of this video tutorial we will get selected value from drop down list and set it to the model attribute using javascript okay let's get started so before moving forward we will change our model class slightly we will add navigation property in our model classes If we discuss what navigation properties are in entity framework navigation property is a property that describe the relationship between two entities okay this relationship either a one to one one to many and many to many okay consider the following image you can see in this image we have a two entities the first one is employee and the second one is department and imply model is a child model or dependent model and department model is a parent model or principal model okay and imply model we have a navigation property department property okay and in department model we have a property i collection implies this is a navigation property so based on these navigation property we can say we have one to many relationship between employee and department one department has multiple employees and one employee has one department okay when we will run our migrations the relationship between between the tables of our database will be created based on these navigation properties when we will run our migrations okay so we will have a change in our model classes slightly and we will run our migrations again let's do it